At a going rate of just $32 an ounce, police say it's a bargain for users, promising a quick fix. Heroin is, according to health officials in Clark County, a problem that's only getting worse. Take, for example, these numbers. In 2013, the county recorded 32 fatal drug overdoses. In 2014, 58. And last year, 70. But with pending toxicology reports, 2015's number is likely closer to 100. Those are people from teenagers to people my age to all walks and all different uh, parts of life. Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll was part of Monday's panel organized by Clark County Cares. He's created new drug programs to aid county inmates with recovery. It's a sickness and it's an addiction. Um, so what we're going to try to do more than targeting the dealers. In fact, State Attorney General Greg Zeller says he's working to close pill mills and going after doctors for overprescribing pain pills. It's really a crisis uh, and it's a man-made crisis. 75 percent of the people that we find with heroin started with a doctor's prescription. Another troubling number, Clark County's Circuit 2 Court dealing only with felony drug cases is the second busiest in the state. Judge Brad Jacobs is seeing anywhere from five to eight new cases a day. Awareness and treatment, he says, are key. If you can't reach them and fix the problem, then they're just going to keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over. But fixing the problem, this panel says, will take all of Clark County caring. And we're open to any idea uh, because this is going to take a community effort to solve this. And back here live tonight, Rick, Vicki, a few other things we want to pass along. Clark County actually has higher hepatitis C and HIV numbers than the state average. That's why they say they plan on going ahead with a clean needle exchange program. Meanwhile, on the statewide level, the attorney general said tonight he wants to arm every single police officer with Narcan. That is a drug used to combat and actually reverse the effects of an overdose. Now, as we said, Rick, Vicki events will continue here at St. Paul's throughout the week. Things come to an end Sunday at 530 at the Big Four Bridge with a candlelight vigil. Reporting live tonight in Jeffersonville, Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thanks.